Hey guys, this is Dr. Price with Action Potential Mentoring, and I want to give you one single clue that will help you separate osteogenesis imperfecta from Ehlers-Danlos. So the difference that will dead set give it away every single time is if the patient has a joint dislocation, the answer is going to be Ehlers-Danlos, not osteogenesis imperfecta, because you don't have joint issues with the osteogenesis imperfecta that result in dislocations. So with Ehlers-Danlos, what else do you need to look out for? Well, something I almost always forget is that they can have weird prolapses with Ehlers-Danlos and it's because it's a connective tissue disorder. So remember, if this patient has like a uterine prolapse or other weird hernias, which are basically uh, in my mind, a type of prolapse through the connective tissue, whether it's in your abdomen, whether it's a femoral hernia, whether it's an inguinal hernia, that can be associated with Ehlers-Danlos. Other things to look for is they have mitral valve prolapse oftentimes. And this is also seen with Marfan syndrome, so don't get that confused. Both Marfan syndrome and Ehlers-Danlos can have mitral valve prolapse. The reason being is because mitral valve prolapse is a connective issue. Same thing with Ehlers-Danlos and Marfan, so that's why they're all three associated with each other. The last thing I wanna to touch on for Ehlers-Danlos is they can have very velvety skin and they can also have atrophy and scarring of the skin. So that can also help you clue into Ehlers-Danlos. Now, whenever you see this clinical picture, you're gonna see cigarette paper-like atrophic scars on their skin. They're gonna often have a history of multiple joint dislocations. They could even have spontaneous organ rupture, which has been documented in some patients with Ehlers-Danlos. So don't let that completely throw you off in their history either. You're looking for weird things that you wouldn't see classically in patients that maybe have uh, some kind of joint wear and tear, such as your osteoporosis or any kind of um, arthritis type condition. So Ehlers-Danlos is its own beast, but remember to separate it from your osteogenesis imperfecta, look for those joint dislocations.